Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to the Forgotten Film channel. Today's Forgotten Film star is Mickey Daniels. Mickey Daniels was born on October the 11th, 1914 in Rock Springs, Wyoming. His birth name was Richard Daniels Jr. and he was one of 10 children. In 1921, he and his father had put together an act. They were performing an amateur night at the Rialto Theater in Rock Springs when they were spotted by a talent scout who convinced his father to move to Hollywood. Their neighbor in California, Gene Corman, was a still photographer for Hal Roach Studios. Oh, he was able to steer Richard Daniels Sr in the direction of the studio and soon he was performing as an extra another one of his children leonard was able to get a job in the transportation department and in 1922 richard senior now known as mickey daniels was signed to a two-year contract making 37 dollars and 50 cents a week Mickey's first appearance was in the comedy short, The Little Minister. Oh, he was also in the short, Our Gang. And with his heavily freckled face, he quickly became a fan favorite. So in addition to being a leading member of the R Gang, he was also in numerous other Hal Roach shorts and even had a couple of product endorsements. 1924, his salary was increased to $175 a week, but by 1926, he was 12 years old, he was starting to lose his childhood cuteness, and frankly, he was getting a little bit too big to be part of the R gangs. Oh, he did continue to work for Hal Roach Studios very steadily. He had this crazy loud laugh which was recorded and was used as stock sound. It was dubbed over Dinah the Mule along with many, many other animals. So throughout the 1930s, he appeared in the Boyfriend series. He also was in numerous other films and continued to do voiceover work. His final film appearance was in the 1941 movie, Miss Polly. At some point, he got married to another actress. Her name was Gertie Messenger. They had one daughter. Now, it's unclear whether they had ever divorced or whether they just drifted apart. I'm not sure exactly what happened with their relationship. But after Miss Polly ended, he got work with an overseas company as a construction worker. At that point is when he dropped out of the public eye. Apparently he spent about 20 years just traveling the world with various construction companies working as an engineer. In 1960, a reporter from the Associated Press was in Tasmania and there was Mickey. He was working in an iron mine and he was using the name Mike Daniels. In 1967, he returned to the United States. One of his nieces shared a story about him being a good hearted man that she loved very much, that he had a big laugh, that he liked to drink, he smoked, he gambled, and he wasn't really a family guy. He just kind of wandered around. Eventually, he moved to San Diego, California, and he got a job working for the Red Top Taxi Company as a driver. Uh, this is really sad. Clearly, he didn't keep in touch with his family at all. On August the 20th of 1970, he was found dead in his hotel room. His cause of death was cirrhosis. Uh, he was cremated by the state. And his remains sat in the, I guess, in the morgue, totally unclaimed for 20 years. Oh, 
after his family found him and buried his ashes, he still didn't get a headstone until the year of 2019. Actor Mickey Daniels made 102 appearances on film, with 70 of them being between the years of 1922 and 1929. And what we have for you today on Forgotten Films is The Short Hour Gang. I have that followed by The Short Playing Hooky, where he as an adult is hanging out with the art gang kids again. Oh, I just want to thank you for tuning in to Forgotten Films. And make sure that you have a great today, and I hope that tomorrow is even better.
Children, there will be no school today. A friend of mine who manages the Seaside Pier has invited all of you to spend the day there as his guest. Ah, oh, gee, we ain't got any money. Oh, you don't have to worry about money. You're to be his guest. Teacher, what do we got to guess for? You don't have to guess for anything. You're invited and everything is free to guess. <laughs> guess I'll be a guest. I wonder who started this school business, anyhow. Why, a fish started it. A fish? Yeah. Have you heard of schools of fish? Look, here goes Rena and Joe. Look, Farina, there's the gang. They gotta go to school. I'm glad I don't have to go to school no more. Ain't you, Joe? Yeah, I'd rather go fishing. Hi, punks. Going to school, huh? Yeah. Why don't you play fish hooky and come fishing with us? Yeah, boy. They're sure biting. Get thee behind me, Satan, and don't push. I'd like to play hooky, but I'm afraid. We'll write you some excuses. We used to pull that on Miss Crabtree. She never knows. What do you think, Stormy? Well, if you had pneumonia, it might be all right. I can't spell that. I'll give you a bad cold. All right, we'll do. Won't we, fellas? Yeah. yeah. Go on, write the note. Make mine a nervous breakdown, and you better put in a broken arm to make it fancy. Yo, make mine fit, because fits are always good. My pappy had fits, the DTs. What do you mean, that DTs? You know, delicious cream. Is everything going to be free, Miss Cornman? Yes, everything's going to be free, and the bus will be here in a few minutes. Goody, goody, goody. Jeff. Tommy. No. No. Mickey. Mickey Daniels. Where did you come from? I just got in town last week, and guess what? What? I was appointed truant officer for this district yesterday. Say, what are you doing here? Well, I'm the teacher. Teacher? Yes. You're the teacher, and I'm the truant officer. What's the matter? Ain't there no school here today? No, I'm taking the children to the beach for a picnic. Oh. Gee, here's the old swing I used to swing you in. Swing me now, Nick. Sure. You know, Mary, I've never forgotten you. I've never forgotten you either, Mickey. You promised me that when we grew up, we'd get married. Oh, Mickey. Yeah, and I'm going to keep you to that promise. Will you marry me? Oh, Mickey. How about a little kiss to seal it? Oh, no, the children are sealed. It's a funny little summer game. Some of the boys are sick. Ah, oh, they're not sick. They're not? Well, these notes say so. Joe and Farina wrote to them. Joe and Farina? They're down by the creek fishing. Well, this looks like a job for me. I'm going to round them up and turn them over to their parents. 
No, you won't. I have a better plan, and you can help me. Do you go to school? Uh-uh. Does he go to school? Uh-uh. He's too new. where they're fishing. Okie dokie. What are you going to do? Well, the boys will come here, and you take them to the beach. But don't let them know who you are until you get them down there. And we'll fix them. I've caught one. Two of us. I told you it's good fishing. I say. Hey, Dick. What did you say? Give me a milk. to go to the beach with the teacher. Oh, we get some played hooky to go fishing. Gee, that's tough. Say, aren't you afraid of the truant officer? Ooh, that dumb guy. Bleh. Have you ever heard anything about a reform school? Yeah, I heard about it. What's it like? Oh, it's terrible. With a great big heavy iron ball around each ankle, all stoop-shouldered from carrying a great big heavy sledgehammer. What's the sledgehammer for? They use it on the rock pile. They break great big rocks in the little bitsy ones. Well, why don't they run away? Oh, they can't. Too many guards. And there's a big river runs all the way around it. And it's just chuck full of crocodiles. How about Sunday? Well, they give them a treat on Sunday. They feed them spinach instead of bread and water. How about Christmas? Oh, they're swell to them on Christmas. Everybody gets a brand new sledgehammer. You better not play hooky, then. Well, fellas, I think we better get down to the beach. Even Miss Quirman will want us for school or something. Well, I'm going down that way. You can ride down my car if you want. Gee, that's swell. Come on. Kids, wait here. I've got to go get a man to fix this. Hey, that's cool of Come on. All right, now run along and play, and we'll fix you a nice lunch. Come on, Joseph. Teacher, here they come now. Quiet. Pretend you don't know them. Hi, Hi, Hi Mr. Carlin. How did you know my name? We're going to school with you. What's your name? Dickie Moore? Well, I don't know Dickie anymore. I mean, I don't know any Dickie Moore. You know me, don't you, Miss Carver? No. I was a little boy that brought that folks after school yesterday. Dorothy knows me, don't you, Dorothy? I never have seen you before. I don't know 
many of you boys, but if you're playing hooky, you better look out. Here comes the truant officer. Say, there's four kids playing hooky around here, and when I catch them, I'm going to send them to reform school. Don't sing. You picked out a fine day to play hooky, didn't you, uh huh? Uh huh. Well, it wasn't all my idea. You helped. I told that old devil man not to push me. Try your luck with the hammer, it's free. Mm -mm. Not me, brother. I'll be using a hammer soon enough. Come on. Well, we're going to have a fine ride this time, eh? you guys. Where do you think you're going?
Open House nothing you're going to the reform school. Come on, you kids, get out of there. Go on. Come on, you kids, get in there. Well, here they are. I'm going to lock them up in the reform school. Please don't let him lock us up, Miss Corbin. Will you boys promise never to play hooky again? Yes, yeah. Well, all right this time, but don't ever let it happen again, see? Mary, how about a kiss? No. Oh, Mary, just one kiss. Uh-uh. Oh, go on, just one little kiss. Well, we're not engaged yet. I know, but you can still give me a kiss. Please, Mary, just one itty-bitty kiss. No. For the love of Pete, kissing with you, I'm going to 